All right, let's jump straight into the topic. I received two great comments on my previous video that inspired this detailed explanation. The first one is from Erdalkaras347, who asked for a breakdown of how JSON manifests, CMake and VCPKG work together logically. And the second is from Sajtaibi6731, asking for help configuring a C project with the Chipmunk 2D library to build a physics engine. Thank you both for your comments and for giving me the chance to cover these topics in more depth. Let's get started. What is VCPKG? To begin, let's talk about VCPKG. Think of VCPKG as a package manager specifically designed for C++ and C projects. It makes managing dependencies much simpler by handling everything for you. No manual downloading or linking of libraries is required. You can think of it like NPM for JavaScript or PIP for Python. In this project, we use a file called vcpkg.json. Here's an example of how it's structured. This JSON file defines several things. The name and description of your project. This is just for context. The dependencies. Here we're using two libraries, Chipmunk for physics and Raylib for rendering. When you run vcpkg install, this file tells vcpkg which libraries to download. It fetches them from its servers and installs them into a folder named vcpkg installed. This is where all the magic happens. It keeps your dependencies organized and makes them ready for use in your project. If you're working with a different library, you can search for it on the official vcpkg package site. It's a great resource for finding almost any library you might need. How does this connect to CMake? Next, let's talk about CMake, which is essentially a build system generator. It takes all your project files and generates the necessary scripts for your compiler to build the project. To integrate VCPKG with CMake, we use something called a toolchain file. In this project, we define the toolchain configuration in a file called cmakepresets.json. Let me show you how it looks. Here's what's happening in this file. The generator specifies Ninja as the build tool, which is lightweight and fast. The binary directory is set to organize the compiled files in the output folder. The toolchain file tells CMake where to find the libraries installed by VCPKG. It's essentially the bridge that connects CMake to VCPKG. So with this setup, when you run a build using CMake, it knows where to pull in the dependencies like Chipmunk and Raylib. Understanding cmakelist.txt. The cmakelist.txt file is the main configuration file for cmake. It defines how your project is built, which dependencies are used, and how everything is linked. Let's take a look at an example from our project. Let's take a closer look at the cmakelist.txt file and see how it ties everything together for our project. First, we specify the minimum required version of cmake followed by the project details like its name, version, and the programming languages we're using, which in this case are C and C++. Next, we add the CMake prefix path, which tells CMake where to find the libraries installed by VCPKG. This path points directly to the VCPKG installed folder in our project directory. Then we use the find package command to locate the libraries we need Raylib for rendering and Chipmunk for physics. VCPKG takes care of all the configuration, so CMake knows exactly where to find them. Once that's done, we use add executable to define the output file for our project along with the main source file. Finally, we link the libraries to the executable using target link libraries ensuring our project is connected to both Raylib and Chipmunk. This is where VCPKG really simplifies things. It handles all the linking and paths automatically, saving you a ton of time and effort. How everything works in code. Once everything is set up in cmakelist.txt, your libraries are ready to use in your code. Let's take a look at main.cpp. Now, let's connect everything we've set up so far and see how it all works together in the actual code. First, let's talk about the headers. The line include raylib.h brings in the raylib library, which handles all the graphics rendering for our project. 
because we've already configured vcpkg and cmake you don't need to worry about manually setting up include paths this is all handled automatically in the background next when we use functions like init window to create a window or draw text to display text on the screen these are provided by Raylib. Since we added it as a dependency and linked it in our CMake lists .txt file, everything is ready to go without extra setup. The same process applies if you want to use Chipmunk for physics. You just include chipmunk.h in your code and you're good to start using its physics functions. It's already linked, so there's no extra configuration needed. At this stage, everything comes together seamlessly. You've got a vcpkg.json file that defines the libraries your project needs, a cmake presets.json file to handle build configurations and link the vcpkg toolchain, a cmake lists.txt file that builds your project and links the dependencies, and finally, a working code example in main.c. This setup is flexible and easy to expand. If you want to add another library, just include it in your vcpkg.json, run vcpkg install, and update your cmakelists.txt. It's as simple as that. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope it helped you understand how cmake, vcpkg, and json work together. If you found this useful, don't forget to like, leave a comment, and let me know what you'd like to see next. And of course, subscribe for more C++ tutorials. Thanks for watching.